The software contains different brands of thread charts so you can get a more accurate view of how your design will look when you choose the threads you wish to use. Bear in mind that there are differences in computer monitors and video cards and the colors you will see will be affected by your computer. Nevertheless, thread charts can help us decide on the colors we want to use for any project. The next series of videos will cover thread management. You may recall that the number of available thread colors in a design is influenced by whether you open or insert a design. Opening a design, like you see here, limits the number of colors available. Inserting a design has several additional Bernina colors that can be added to your design. When you open a design, it is named by the file name, so you have to be careful to do a Save As. If you wish to add a color, click on the Add Palette Color, and a color is added, and then you can change that to the thread color of your choice by opening the My Threads Docker with a left click on Threads. There are two ways to manage your thread charts. One is through the Threads Docker, like you see here, and the other is through Thread Colors. You access Thread Colors by right-clicking instead of left-clicking on the Thread icon. You can manage your threads by selecting a different brand from the drop-down choices. You can change colors in a design by selecting a color to change and then selecting the new color in the chart below and clicking on Assign and then OK. You can also print thread charts and you can even design your own thread chart. All of these topics will be covered in this series of videos.